Today, we'll be looking at the top five motherboards for the Ryzen 7 5700X. We've got budget options, high-end beast, small form factor options, and our top pick waiting for you. Check out bestmotherboardzone.com for more details, and don't forget, all the prices are in the description below. So get ready to build your PC. Number five, MSI Meg B550 Mortar, best micro ATX motherboard for Ryzen 7 5700X. The AMD B550 platform is all about the value for money, and one of the best motherboards in this regard is the MSI B550M Mortar. Primarily, the VRM design of the B550 Mortar is top-notch. It shares components with the more expensive B550 Tomahawk from MSI and packs a decent 8 plus 2 plus 1 phase power design. The highlight feature of the MSI B550 Mortar is its price tag and incredible value, but that is not all it offers. The board contains 4 times DIMM slots, which is a great feature for micro ATX motherboards Again. For connectivity, MSI has provided a 2.5 gigabit Ether LAN port, which is a nice touch. However, Wi-Fi is missing from the base model. You can get a Wi-Fi version for a higher price, but that skews the value proposition a bit. This board can also be considered as one of the best budget motherboards for Ryzen 5 3600. As far as looks go, there is nothing really unique about the MSI B550M mortar, and perhaps that is by design. The board is really neutral with a gray PCB and some minor silver accents. The B550 mortar is one of the best value motherboards out there in the micro ATX form factor, and thanks to its extraordinary power delivery system, it might just be the best budget micro ATX motherboard on the market. For anyone thinking about building a small form factor gaming PC with the Ryzen 7 5700X, do consider the B550M Mortar. It really is one of the best budget micro ATX motherboards out there. Number 4. Gigabyte B550i Aorus Pro AX Best ITX Motherboard for Ryzen 7 5700X When it comes to ITX B550 motherboards, there there are a lot of options that you can pick from. For example, the ROG Strix B550i and the AS ROG Phantom Gaming motherboards immediately come to mind. However, in terms of value and features, the Gigabyte B550i Aorus Pro is hard to beat. Let's take a look at why that is the case. To start things off, the B550i Aorus Pro definitely looks like a high-end motherboard. The rear panel cover is quite large for an ITX motherboard, and it does a decent enough job of blending in with the VRM heatsinks. Other than that, the chipset heatsink can be seen above the PCIe time 16 slot, and this also hides the M2 slot underneath. Since the heatsink is directly above the PCIe time 16 slot, this would normally be a concern for overheating. Thankfully, that's not the case here. The large heatsink does a good job of dispersing heat, and there's no room for thermal throttling, even if you're pushing your GPU to the max. Since we're talking about performance, it is important to mention that this Aorus Pro motherboard features an 8-phase VRM configuration. This power delivery system performs quite well, especially for an ITX board. The 8 phases might not sound like a lot, but they do a good job job of handling even higher-end processors like the Ryzen 9 5900X. In addition to its impressive VRM configuration, the Gigabyte B550i Aorus Pro also boasts many other features that make it an excellent choice for those looking to build a high-performance ITX system. One of these features is the inclusion of dual M2 slots, which allow for lightning-fast NVMe SSD storage. This is a high plus for gamers and content creators who need fast access to large files and applications. The Aorus Pro also supports Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5 0, providing users with fast and reliable wireless connectivity. Speaking of connectivity, we have access to five USB ports on the rear, along with a USB 3.2 Gen 2 x 2 Type-C port. It would have been nice to see a couple more ports, as most people will use most of them as soon as they install the motherboard. Memory overclocking is also quite decent. While it only has two DIMM slots, the B550i Aorus Pro features support for a maximum of 64 gigs of DDR4 at up to 5300 MHz. The ROG Strix B550i is the closest competitor to this board, and while that one may look marginally better, it also costs more without delivering any significant upgrades. Similarly, the MSI MPG B550i was also a good choice, but the fact that it uses a fan for the chipset heatsink might push away some people. Ultimately, the B550i Aorus Pro is the best motherboard for Ryzen 7 5700X if you're looking to put together a mini ITX PC build. Number 3, MSI B550A Pro, best budget motherboard for Ryzen 7 5700X. Not everyone Everyone out there will care about overclocking, high-end audio, etc. When it comes to a downright reliable motherboard for Ryzen CPUs, we can easily recommend the MSI B558 Pro. If you don't care about extra bells and whistles, then this motherboard just might fit your needs. It's definitely quite hard to ignore for the price. The design of this board is not something that truly stands out, but it manages to get the basics right. It uses an all-black PCB with aluminum heat sinks. The heat sink is decent in terms of size and has MSI branding all over it. The board also includes includes an M2 shield for PCIe Gen 4 SSDs. While the design other than that is quite simple, it gets the fundamentals and layout 
down perfectly. Like other X570 and B550 options, this one also includes a flash BIOS button. It's a great feature to have on a cheaper motherboard. There's also no need for a processor to be physically present in order to update the BIOS. On top of that, the Core Boost technology makes sure that the power delivery is reliable and robust. MSI claims that this board uses a 10 plus 2 phase design for power delivery, and in reality, it uses five phases with two power stages in each phase. This means you can't heavily overclock or tweak to your liking. However, you are getting dual M2 slots with PCIe 4.0, fast memory support, and reliability, all at a cheaper price tag. If you don't mind the aesthetics, it's a great board to get in terms of reliability, especially on a budget. Number two, Asus ROG X570 Crosshair 8 Dark Hero, best premium motherboard for Ryzen 7 5700X. Enter the Crosshair 8 Dark Hero. This high-end motherboard has everything an enthusiast could want and more. The design itself perfectly reflects that statement. Featuring a slick black look with a uniform heatsink design across the board, this thing is quite the looker. The RGB lighting is done quite well here, and it pairs perfectly with the simple approach to design and, of course, Aura Sync. Armory Crate software helps you control the RGB lighting of any component in the build, which is a great feature. On top of that, you get a very impressive 16-phase power design for the VRMs. Each power stage is accessed in 90A of current, meaning you get access to a lot of power, and it might be a bit overkill. That's great, as you get to enjoy overclocking the processor as much as you can. You can also get access to 128 gigabytes of RAM that can be overclocked to 5100 megahertz or more. Furthermore, you get three M2 slots that can run at blazing fast PCIe Gen 4 speeds. You also get a full-length GPU slot at that speed. Dynamic OC mode allows you to automatically switch between precision boost overdrive and manual OC. This is an exclusive feature that appeals well to overclockers. You also get Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth, 2.5 gigabit Ethernet, Supreme FX Audio, and much more. Hopefully, you can see why this is the best future-proof motherboard for a Ryzen 7 processor. In theory, this motherboard has it all. The only real major downside here is the price, which comes at quite a premium. Number 1. Asus AM4 Tough Gaming X570 Plus Best Motherboard for the Ryzen 7 5700X X570 and value are two words that rarely go hand in hand. However, again, Asus of all manufacturers has managed to pull off another incredible feat. Their Tough Gaming lineup is a viable alternative to the more popular and more expensive Strix lineup of motherboards. Ditching some of the extra bells and whistles, the AM4 Tough Gaming X570 Plus focuses on pure value. In our eyes, it's an excellent win for the end user. Design-wise, the Tough lineup is very unlike the ROG series. Instead of an all-black theme, we get black and yellow combination here. In theory, that sounds a bit tacky, but with the subtle implementation here, it works well. The logo reminds you of something you'd see in Call of Duty or Battlefield back in the day, and this logo can be seen on the rear panel cover, PCB, and chipset heatsink. Apart from that, it's using a 12 plus 2 power delivery system that works well on this X570 platform. You get Asus's incredible BIOS functionality and or a sync support, both of which are features loved by many. You also get 802.11 AC Wi-Fi, Realtex, S1200A Audio, and Gigabit Ethernet. All of these are premium components, and you don't need to shell out a ridiculous amount of cash here for either. That's where the beauty of this motherboard lies. While you only get two M2 slots and it lacks a front panel USB 3.1 Gen 2 ports, it makes up for it with its excellent value. Not to mention, you get access to Aura Sync, which is one of the best controllable RGB platforms out there on the market. For an X570, board, the Asus AM4 Tough Gaming drives quite a decent bargain, worth considering for those of you who don't want to spend too much. However, don't expect wonders if you're going to test the limits of your Ryzen CPU in terms of overclocking. Nevertheless, if you're looking for a good gaming motherboard for Ryzen 7 5700X, then you cannot go wrong with the Tough Gaming X570+. Plus. All right, guys, we've just gone through the top five motherboards for the Ryzen 7 5700X. Want more? Head to bestmotherboardzone.com. Links below. Smash that like button, share, and subscribe for more epic reviews and tutorials. But don't go yet. There's another video popping up right now that you can't miss. Thanks for watching, and keep building.